Hiya fishy folks and happy Sunday fun day to you. Today, December 22nd, three days before Christmas. I'm very excited. I have a lot of gifts on my Christmas list that I have requested from one Mr. Santa Claus, who, I don't know if you know, but lives actually in Finland, in Rovaniemi. I know, because I was there when I was a kid. Anyway, today's video is going to be about my planted angelfish tank. Now, this tank is somewhat of a disaster, as you know, but I have people coming over for Christmas, so I want to try to fix it up as best I can with what I have. I'm not going to go out and buy new plants because that's cheating if you ask me. But So here's what I got, folks. I bought these root tabs. Now, I don't know a whole lot about plants, right? So these root tabs, if we can focus, they are API root tabs. And the reason I bought them, um, there's actually two reasons. One, API has been really good to me. As you guys know, I get sent, I get asked if I want to be sent products and API was one of the companies that reached out to me and they sent me a bunch of stuff. Most of it I liked. Um, obviously, they're, they're pharmaceuticals I use. <coughs> I'm fine. Um, but they also sent me some stuff for the ponds outside, which I, I did videos about. And um, Not a fan of their fish food, but you know, can't like everything. Anyway, when I was looking uh, for root tabs, there's pretty much Seachem or API. So I decided I'd hit up the API because they're a company that's uh, that's been good to me. I know a few people that work there and um, I figured I'd give it a shot. So if you guys have used these before, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Um, again, I don't know a whole lot about uh, aquatic plants. I used to be into roses, but it seems like the makeup is good, guaranteed analysis is good, so we're going to uh, go upstairs, we're going to plant these root tabs um, and clean up the tank a little bit. I'm going to show you the after. Uh, also, as you may or may not know, I have gotten a few new fish for that tank. There's two koi angel and one black angel that I added. In a few weeks, I'm going to add some more phantom, t uh, black phantom tetras. There's two or three left. I believe they're all females um, because the bottom fin has some red on it. My local fish store owner, John, told me that's how you sex them. So the problem is those black phantoms are like this big, and the ones that he has are really small and skinny. So um, I'm considering buying maybe eight or ten of them, putting them in a quarantine tank down here, and fattening them up for a couple weeks before they go up, upstairs into the big tank. So I'm definitely going to quarantine them because, as you know, that's very important. All right, fishy folks, do me a favor. If you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to this channel as well as my new Michael's Eats food channel. And um, stand by. I'm going to show you the tank. All right, fishy folks, here's the tank. Just gonna feed some bloodworms real quick. Um, so, we had a problem while we were working on the tank. I wasn't careful, and I dropped one of the lids. I don't know if you can see, it's all broken here, and it doesn't fit anymore. So, I have to go buy a new piece of glass. It might be cheaper just to get a piece of glass that size from a glass shop. I'm gonna go to my local fish store and see if he has any extras lying around. Uh, I don't really need it with the, you know, the handle on it. This part, I could go buy a handle, stick it on uh, from somewhere else. So, uh, but let's take a look at the tank. So I added, I think six root tabs strategically placed close to the uh, rooted plants. I think every plant in here is a root feeder as far as I know. As I've said before, I've gotten plants from multiple locations. When I first set this tank up, Corey from Aquarium Co-op sent me a bunch of plants. Um, Keith from KGE Aquatics sent me plants. Uh, I bought some things at local fish auctions especially the Bucks County auction, which, as you know, is my favorite. So here are the, I don't know if you can see the black phantom tetras. There's one, and there's one over here. <coughs> I'm fine. I think there is another one floating around. Maybe 
maybe there is only two. There's six albino uh, quarries in here, scavenging around the bottom. Um, there's a lemon pleco, which I don't know if you can see. He likes to hide behind the intake tube. I mean, the water's still cloudy. I literally just had my hands in here three minutes ago. So this new Marineland um, Emperor Pro 450 does a fantastic job of cleaning and polishing the water. Um, to be honest, I didn't think I was going to like it. And as you know, they sent me a bunch of filters. I've done a video already on the filter, already on maximizing the filter or uh, making it more efficient, turbocharging, whatever you want to call it, supercharging. Um, but I really like this filter. It does a great job. It holds a ton of media, which is important for me because uh, I'm lazy. Anyway, you can see these two new um, Koi Plecos. They are homegrown from my local fish store. He bred them himself. And um, I picked out of, I probably had about 40 of them in a tank. They were mm, a few centimeters smaller, but I've been uh, trying to fatten them up so this big boy over here, Smokey, doesn't, uh, doesn't pick on them too much. For the first probably 24 hours, he kept them pinned in the corner, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, but hopefully we get a pair out of, out of them. There's also a black angel right here. I don't know if you can see it with the water so cloudy. Um, he is an import from Taiwan or Thailand, I don't remember. One of the tea countries out in, the, in Asia. Yeah, I know. I don't remember. He told me a couple weeks ago when I got him. So I put these guys in quarantine downstairs uh, for two weeks. And uh, they made it through like champs. Dropped them in the tank. And, of course, then big boys pinned them in the corner. So I'm going to let the tank get cleaned up a little bit and then come back and show you what it looks like, hopefully when it's clearer. And um, I think this is how we're going to leave it. We're going to let the plants grow, fill back in, get healthy, and then maybe do another rescape. Um, I do need to keep wood in there for the plecos. There used to be a clown pleco in here. I haven't seen him in quite a while. He is kind of small. Um, I didn't take that cave out. I did take this one out. He wasn't in there. Um, so hopefully he's still in here hiding. If not, he was somebody's tasty snack, um, which happens. You know, it's, it's the circle of life. All right, fishy folks, refill your snack and beverage if you haven't done so already. I'm not sure if I asked you to grab a snack and a beverage, but you should know by now. 600 plus videos, you should know. And uh, stand by. All right, fishy folks, you can see we are about an hour later and the tank is almost crystal clear. There's still some floating debris, but I'm sure if I let that go in the next hour or two, it'll also be gone, but I need to finish the video, so. You can see there's some debris stuck to the bottom of the intake. Um, and that's okay, that's kind of what I want. When I clean it off, what I do is uh, put a big net underneath it and then unplug the filter, everything drops into the net. Then I take it off and uh, lift it out of the tank. That's my dog. There are the two, well, one of the uh, koi angels and there's the other black one that I got. Let me see if I can get a little closer for you guys. He's a good looking angel actually. He was the best one. I liked his tail the most. The shape of it is kind of like Batman. I'm Batman. That's what he says. Uh, we haven't named them. Usually my kids name the fish. I don't particularly care to name fish unless it's Chewy because Chewy's badass. But hey uh, guys. I hope everyone uh, has a great Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever holiday you celebrate, Festivus. Um, and I just want to say a special Merry Christmas to a friend, Addison. Addison, I'm sorry I missed you yesterday. Next time, your dad and mom will bring you and I will get to meet you. So Merry Christmas, Addison, and Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah to everyone else. Hope you guys have a great day. All right, fishy folks, we are about an hour later. You can see how well the tank has been cleaned up. There's some debris stuck to the bottom. Indy, that's my 100-year-old Jack Russell Terrier who wants attention. Hiya, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. 
Today is Sunday, December 22nd. Three days until Christmas, folks. I'm very excited. I have a lot of stuff on my Christmas list. Li anywho, there we go with the anywho. I, I can't stand the anywho.